Hey everyone! So today I'm going to do something a little bit different. It's going to be kind of a new segment here on my channel if I get positive feedback and if y'all enjoy this segment. I'm going to call it Tip and Trick Tuesday. I'm thinking maybe every other Tuesday I'll do this. As you know, I upload every Monday and Thursday. So maybe every other Tuesday I can do like a Tip and Trick Tuesday. Um, something I've got a lot of questions on is how to pick a foundation. How do you know if you're warm, if you're like a warm toned skin? How do you know if you're cool toned? How do you counteract that? And things like that. So I wrote myself like a little list of what I've come up with. And so, yeah. So for me, how to find a foundation is like if you're lighter skinned, I feel like that's kind of a hard part because if you're lighter skinned then maybe an NC or NW25 sometimes you can look a little ghostly so I feel like that's a little hard to find um, a foundation for that um, and it's hard and what's hard is when you're at a drugstore I feel because when you're work when you're at a um, makeup counter or makeup store or something like that usually they have testers out and they allow you that you know you can take off a side of your face and see if it matches and things like that not the drugstore you can't do that so a tip for that for me is find a foundation that matches you absolutely perfect like for me it's my um mac studio fix like that foundation matches me absolutely perfect without flaws and um so you can bring that foundation to the drugstore and see which one would match up with that color. Match up. That was weird. Anyway, um, if you, as far as your coloring, like if you're warm toned or cool toned, if you look good in pure white, then you're usually cool toned. And if you look good in like a cream or an off white, you're usually a warm toned. So if you take a pink or a coral lipstick, and if your skin resembles pink, then you have a pink undertone, okay? And if your skin looks a little closer to the coral, then you have a yellow undertone. So if you put on a lipstick and see what looks best on you. Um, I have a warm toned face, a warm toned skin tone. So I have a pink undertone. So I counteract that with cool tones, sometimes. Sometimes I do, like, I wear NW25 in MAC, but underneath my eyes, I use NC20 or NC15. So it completely depends. You can either get the foundation that resembles your skin tone, or you can get the foundation that counteracts your skin tone. So as far as applying your foundation, I did a little bit, you know, I put a little chart down. You can apply it with your fingers or with a sponge for a natural look. Now, in my opinion, I wouldn't apply it with my fingers. Um, sometimes I do pump it on the back of my hand and I dab it in with my fingers. Now, the reason for that is because it can help melt into your skin. Now, concealer, I hold ho wholeheartedly believe that you can use concealer um, with your fingers. And for that is because it helps melt the product underneath your eyes. Now, if you see in one of my past tutorials, I believe, um, I got a lot of questions as to why I leave, like, I left concealer without being blended out right in this part, and I went onto my eyebrows. And the reason for that was because with that particular concealer, it does not set fast, but it takes a little bit to melt, so it's not blotchy. So for me, I just let it set a little longer, let it sit on my face, and let the heat from my face melt the product a little more. Now, I think fingers are best for warmth, as I said, and your, your fingers do help you spread the product evenly and more rapidly, quickly. But it's not always the most clean thing to do I guess and you never know like for me even bef even if I'm not using my hands I always wash my hands before doing my foundation but for me working on clients now you can't use your hands so when I'm on clients 
regardless of the warmth of my hand, I can't use that on clients. And a myth that I have come across is a lot of people say to start on, start um, on the underneath your eyes. Foundation is too harsh to be used underneath your eyes. I don't know how many times I can reiterate it. I don't know how many languages you want me to say it in. But foundation is too harsh underneath your eyes. Your eye area is such a delicate area, hence why concealer, there is an under eye concealer and a face concealer. You don't put foundation underneath your eyes. That's a myth. It's a 100% X. No, you don't put it underneath your eyes. I see a lot of people do it, and you know, if it works for you, that's fine, but it will give you wrinkles. You gotta be careful. Don't tug at your eyes. It's not a cute look. And blend it all over your face as a tip for foundation, okay? I get that some spots you may have more problem areas, but you can't just put a glob of foundation right here where your acne is, and then right here is tan and flawless, and right here is all white. It's not cute. I don't know how many times I can tell people that. You put it all over your face. If you don't need that much coverage, then don't put a lot. But put it evenly all over your face. Start where you need it most. I need it most right here. I start there and I work my way out. I blend it out. Don't rub it vigorously. Slight tapping motions will do just fine. All right? Capiche? Comprendo? You got it? So let's just go over one more time what I'm going to say. Pick out a color that's right for your skin tone. Blend it out with a sponge or a brush, even if you want to lay it out with your fingers. Because even though the fingers give warmth, your face will give warmth too. Spread evenly and all over your face. And don't apply foundation underneath your eyes. So that's it for today's Tip and Trick Tuesday. I really hope that you guys enjoyed and that this was helpful. And if you want more videos like this every other Tuesday, please let me know. Because I probably have a bunch of them that I would like to share. Once again, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And let me know if you'd like to see videos like this. Bye!